That's right. First responders here, Tony and Oroxia, using sedatives as a way perhaps to diffuse a situation safer without them needing to use force or excessive force. So they're testing out this pilot program. Starting back in January, they implemented a way for first responders, firefighters, paramedics, police, and 911 dispatchers to assess a situation. So what happens is a 911 dispatcher will get a call and they would be trained to ask specific questions on how that person is behaving, whether it's violent, out of breath, sweating perhaps, and that person could be experiencing a mental health episode. So they would determine how to respond, whether it be paramedics or police. And then if it is a behavioral crisis, paramedics would then be able to assess that person and determine whether or not to use a sedative to try to diffuse the situation. This particular drug is fast acting and so uh, and it's also doesn't last very long so it's it's a great uh, resource for us out in in the field to get somebody to calm down and then get them to the hospital where they can receive care uh, from the doctors there at the ER. And that sedative they're testing out and using in the field is midazolam. It's given through an IV or a small device that goes into nostrils, obviously being absorbed quickly. And only paramedics can determine if a person should be sedated, not police or law enforcement. And so far, since January, it's been used 41 times in the field. But of course, again, another tool in the toolbox for first responders responding to situations out in the field. Tony and Araxia.